Hi everyone. My name is Meena Perry and I'm a solutions architect on the Amazon Selling Partner API team. In this video series, I will walk you through the steps on how to create a private selling partner API application and we will focus on introduction and workflow in this video. As you might have heard, the migration deadline from MWS to SP API is coming up. Hopefully, this video series will assist you. Before we get started, let's understand the difference between a private and public application. Private developers build applications that integrate their own company with Amazon APIs. A private application is available only to that developer's organization and is self-authorized. This could be either a seller or vendor building for their own organization. On the other hand, public developers create public apps for use by selling partners and their apps are published on the selling partner app store. They need to use the OAuth authorization workflow. In this video, since we will be focusing on private application, let's look at the workflow for creating a private selling partner API application. First step is to create a developer profile. In SP API, you only need to register one developer account under a seller or vendor central account that will be able to access data across multiple regions to support all of your selling accounts. Create a developer profile on your selling account if you don't already have one. Next is request data access. Data vended through SP API must be treated securely, which requires that developers implement all the corresponding security mechanisms. Please refer to our acceptable use policy and data protection policy for more details. So for registration, you will need to answer the questions under security control section to provide information about how your organization meets these requirements and choose the roles that your application requires. To understand more about SP API roles, please refer to the roles guide reference below. Once submitted, developer support team will review and respond to your support case in a few days. Next is create a private selling partner API application. In order to call the different SP API endpoints, you will need to create a private SP API application. This will give you access to client secrets that you have to use to sign your API requests. You can achieve this by adding a new client on the developer central page with all the required roles. This will create a draft selling partner API application. We will see this in detail in the upcoming videos. Next is self-authorize application. You can self-authorize your application in draft status. There is no need to publish a private application. Then connect to SP API. After the setup is completed, you're now good to execute a sample SP API call. For this purpose, we recommend using Postman and making a call to one of our sandbox endpoints. Finally, we have call SP API endpoints. Start calling different SP API endpoints. In case of customers migrating from MWS to SP API, this will be updating your application so that actions that previously called MWS operations will call the corresponding SP API operations. That covers the overall steps required to create a private SP API application. To see a detailed demo of each of these steps, watch the rest of the videos in this video series. In the next video, we will be covering step one and step two, which is creating a developer profile and requesting data access.